Hello, everybody, and welcome to Civilization VI Gathering Storm with your host, Foibles89. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Hall of Fame Random Draft Series. We are going to be playing as civilizations we have not yet gotten a victory type with in the Hall of Fame. Um, there are a few I've already gotten victory types with, but um, what I'm doing is pulling the ones I haven't gotten a victory type with yet, putting it into a random drafter online, and spitting out three options for me. Our options tonight were Russia, Australia, or India. Uh, the community here on Twitch chose uh, Russia, and we took this another step further as well with a random draft. We're also randomizing the map. So this is on a shuffle map. And we also have it on random resources and legendary start, just for fun. And this is the start we got. This was, I think, our third roll. Is that right? Um, I had a bit of an issue with a mod that I had to turn off, so I had to go back to the menu and do another roll. But um, we just got this on our third roll as a start. So we're going to roll with it. <laughs> that, that fit perfectly. Um, Stream and I just counted that there are nine camps here so we're definitely going to be rushing for toa um i am tempted to harvest the sheep and put a campus here because that is a plus three campus we would lose one resource for toa but i really feel like it would be worth um getting rid of this to have uh, a great spot for a campus uh I'd, I'd rather lose the pasture than a camp for example especially if we can go with goddess of the hunt it's both food and production. That's right. It's plus one food and plus one production for Goddess of the Hunt, if you take that as your pantheon. I need the food. Well, we'll get extra food if we go with Goddess of the Hunt pantheon, though. And we're, we're, get, we're about to get a ton of faith all at once by settling on the tundra as well. So we're going to get a... Gonna, gonna, <laughs> Sorry for that. We're going to get a ton of faith. We're going to get our pantheon super quickly. And if we go with Goddess of the Hunt, we'll get an extra food and production across all of our all, all of these camps. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. Districts to the east. Yeah, I could do some districts here on these flat tundra tiles, couldn't I? Um, it looks like I could probably get another city over here somewhere and maybe do some uh, government plaza stuff. Typically in the tundra, you don't run into a lot of issues with um, resources getting in the way of districts, which is nice. Uh, and Rush is one of the few that can actually thrive in the tundra, along with Canada. So, we are on top of woods. I'm assuming we just want to settle in place. And we'll lose the woods, but that's okay. I mean, we're going to gain all these, uh, <laughs> all these camps. This is crazy. I have never seen a start like this before. This is truly crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and settle in place. And let's see if our settle's just going to reach out and grab all of these camps. I'm pretty sure it will. Yep, it got all of them. Okay, so you can see what happened here. With our ability, it gave us a 2-2-1 base, which is awesome. Also, I'm loving these colors. I love the pink and the blue. Uh, the woods here are 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, this is a 2-2-1 as well over here with the sheep. Man, this is a crazy start. This is awesome. Um... I'm probably going to try and focus on just staying on the tundra if I can. I mean, this is going to be a crazy fast start. We're going to be getting lots of faith here at the beginning. We're not re-rolling white. <laughs> this is definitely not a re-roll scenario. Um, now I've revealed a little bit more down here. we got planes and stuff, which is kind of interesting. What I want to actually see is uh, if resources like this are anywhere else in this tundra. Um, make sure you're working the 2-2-1. Yeah, let's go ahead and lock that one in. It was going for the 1-3 over here, which is interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to fixate myself on exploring the, the tundra. So I'm going to send my warrior up this way, and we're going to see where these rivers are, see where there's another settled spot. Um, I, I actually really like this color on, on Russia. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we are definitely going to go with animal husbandry first. Hello. That's obvious, isn't it? And let's grab a scout. We are in standard speed, by the way just so you guys know so we can make a series out of this quite 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 certainly make a series out of it um let's head north Ooh, perfect a little goody head right there yeah, i'm gonna get three camps right away after the scout i'm gonna go with a builder and then maybe i'll save up my gold we're gonna get more gold once i get these camps going as well and we will uh 
this start is crazy. I'm really happy I'm recording this too. Because I want to be able to look back on this. Let's go ahead and start smacking some people in the face with wooden clubs. That sounds fun. Very happy that uh, that we're getting this recorded. Can't wait to share this with you guys. I hope you guys... I hope this turns out to be a good game. I have a feeling it might. Um, we've got another city opportunity up here. I actually like kind of being on the coast because we could end up with some sea resources for food. Because that is going to be one of the things we lack, of course, in Tundra Cities is food. We won't have an issue here for sure in the capital. All the gold will be working. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I'm assuming... Let's see here. I'm assuming a TOA right here would probably make the most sense. It, it grabs everything. And it gives us options over here for putting a uh, theater square next to it. Maybe do some districting on the river. That sounds like a plan to me. Alright, we got ourselves a camp. Let's work on that. Let's go ahead and send our scout uh, east. And figure out what's going on over here. We got some more hills. Oh, and it looks like this TOA will grab some more pastures as well. So it's pastures, plantations, and camps. I have to remember that. Alright, let's get our builder going. We're going to need to pause and heal on this one for sure. But they normally don't pop out, which is good. Let's actually get you healing right now. So I'm going to be able to take out that camp pretty quickly. Thankfully, tundra, like inland tundra... Barb camps don't scare me that much. They usually don't produce crazy amounts of units. They usually don't have horses. And they're not on the coast, so they won't get boats. Lots of hills over here. Hmm. Interesting. This is making me want to start a game. <laughs> well, then do it, White. I'm guessing you're not because you're probably either tired or busy. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we got fish over here for food. That would be very helpful. Three fish. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Let's just finish that. Okay, yeah. Cool. I'm going to send them this way now. Got even more deer over here. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to label this, <laughs> this, this episode, oh, dear. <laughs> Aren't I? Oh, it's a hill. Okay. All right. What are we researching next? Um... Should we go for mining so we can get a chop on, like, a couple woods here? Oh, we've got horses. That's good. That adds to it as well. So what is this right now? If we leave everything as is, we're looking at a one, two, three, four. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take a top-down view of this if I can. Oh, wait. No. That's, uh... How do I do a top-down view? Oh, you know what? If we go strategy view. Okay, this helps a bit. All right, so looking at where TOA is placed right now and with the resources we have, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 resources that match up with uh, with TOA. Yeah, the horse. I counted the horses. Pastures, plantations, and camps. That's 13, I said. 13 resources. That is nuts absolutely nuts okay uh i'm gonna go with mining because we also have copper down here we could harvest and the woods if we want to chop them so let's do that and you're healed up enough to continue doing the bashing so let's do that Ooh, got our promotion in time i'm surprised it actually came out all right we got our builder um I think we're getting this camp out pretty early. I don't think it spawned any other units, so why don't we... Should we go with a settler? We could go with a quick settler. You know what? Let's go with our monument. Let's get some culture going. Alright. Um, is this a hill? I'm trying to keep the camps that I'm doing off of hills so I can do them faster. This is a hill. Yeah, okay. So we'll do these camps first. So yeah, added two gold to those. Oh man, we're going to have a lot of gold. Crazy. 
You're saying Slinger Mythrock. Interesting. Slinger for archery boost if you want TOA. Oh, that's true. We need to boost archery. Thank you so much for reminding me. Let's go with uh, let's go with the Slinger. It's only four turns, too. We got plenty of protection. We got some more mountains over here. That's good. This might be a cold map. This is a pretty large tundra. Pretty large tundra. Of course, I haven't seen it all yet, but... Just want to let you know, uh, driving home right now, still snowing. Oh, geez. Be careful on the roads. I can't believe it's snowing already up in Canada. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I really shouldn't be surprised, should I? All right. Goddess of the Hunt is available. So we've got some choices here. Is Dance, yep, Dance of the Aurora is there as well. Those are really the only two I think of. I guess Divine Spark could be thrown into the mix. But with a start like this... I really feel like Goddess of the Hunt is the way to go. When you've got nine camps. We got something to show. Hold on. Switching to face cam. This is for Unsung. This is for Unsung. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> Unsung, right? Asked for the skull. Here you are, my friend. Hopefully that's coming up on camera pretty well. That's very cool. Good job, honey. I love it. We should send this as like a Halloween <laughs> postcard. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very running. cool. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be runny. Yeah, she made it very runny. It hasn't dripped, so we're yeah, good. We're good. That's awesome. Thanks. That's very cool, honey. Thanks for sharing that. One down. I have three more. You're gonna do three more little cards. I like that you do little cards like that. You can do lots of art that way. Punisher-esque. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of dripping and drooling. That's really neat. Are you going to do more Halloween-themed stuff? Of course, you can do whatever you'd like, but just curious. Um, is it overwhelming that we're going to go with Goddess of the Hunt? I really think it is. Yeah, we're doing it. I There's been no other excuse for me to get Goddess of the Hunt, except for right now. I made it a 2-3-2-1. Two, two, wow. Wow. We're gonna get some awesome yields from these camps. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, you pop. Oh, you. Oh, I see what you did there. You bugger. You can't run away from me. Yeah, this is a pretty good looking tundra for a Russia game. I'm very happy with this. And it looks like we should have some decent district spots, too. Do it. <laughs> That's going to be a huge cap. Oh, yes. Maybe we should get um, Great Zimbabwe as well. And then, of course, we we have to go for um, St. Basil's, right? Absolutely have to. Oh, lots more hills over here. Very interesting. Drop another camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of these, at least at the start, 2-3-2 two, two tiles with some faith on them as well. This is absolutely nuts. All right, I guess I don't really need to be locked in on that one anymore. You should definitely be working the other tiles. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that's a good mountain range. Looks like it caps off there. So the question is, where is our next city going to go? Also, I need to find another barbarian camp so I can get my boost to archery. Yeah, so St. Basil's needs to be next to the capital, right? So I'm guessing we just override this hill, which I, I don't care about, because we'll have, we'll have so much production from these camps anyways. Uh, where is St. Basil's? St. Basil's! There you are. Must be adjacent to a city center owned by the city. Or city center tile. It's kind of funny how they worded that. Must be adjacent to a city center owned by the city. Does a city ever own another city center that's not their own? That makes no sense. So that's pretty much how it's going to be laid out, I think. The rest are camps all around, and I don't want to chop any of those. It's a ton of production that I could chop, but I'm not going to. Yeah, it can be on a hill, I'm pretty sure. We can double check real quick. Let's do that. Um, St. Basil. Doesn't say over there. Doesn't say it can't be built on a hill. Yeah, just has to be adjacent to the city city center. 
It doesn't even have to be on Tundra. Another city can own a tile next to a different city center? Really? Oh, I guess that's true with, like, a culture bomb. 245 bits! Unsung. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Gotta go to bed. Awesome painting. Great game. Can't wait to see it on YouTube. Awesome. Yes. I want you to go watch it on YouTube when we're, when we're done recording it. Recording's going well, so... Yeah, awesome. Oh, you put a mask on me. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, funny. What is the mask? I'm afraid if I switch the face cam, it'd go away. Oh, it went away. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh, and we're gambling in chat, too. I've got a bunch of gamblers in chat because I've got a gamble feature. All right. Let's keep going here. This is best. All right. Um... What do we want to work towards here? St. Basil's is in the culture tree, correct? It's with Reformed Church. There it is. So what does it suggest? I mean, it's 16 things away. It has a starting at the bottom, which I guess makes sense, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, we've already got our Pantheon, so why don't we just focus on some production. And hopefully we'll find another Barb Camp to get a boost to archery here. Get our Slinger in the next turn. I want you to heal up. For now, you got a good view of what's around. And I guess we go grab this camp here. Awesome. Uh, once we have enough gold, I'll probably buy another builder and keep doing that until we have all of these camps um, ready to go. We should be able to spit out a uh, Temple of Artemis really quickly. We'll have a lot, of, well, we're gonna have a ton of production in the capital. Like, insane amounts of production. Alright, that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to send this guy back this way. There is another river, so we've got some more settled spots that we can check out. I'm thinking another city up here. Maybe not necessarily on the coast. We would grab another luxury. We could reach over here and grab these fish with uh, Russia's borders. So maybe we uh, plop ourselves down right there for a second city. I was hoping maybe somewhere over here, too, but... With Russia's borders, you can't get uh, you can't get too close. I could settle here, and I've got a great campus spot here and a great holy site spot there too. Mm. Do we want to go for a religion? That's another question. Why didn't you upgrade the three production tiles? Oh well, I guess I could have done that <laughs> because uh, it it would have taken two turns to get that instead of me getting this improved in one turn. I guess that's the logic I was thinking of there, Mithrock. Two, four, two, one tile. Yeah, that's true, I would have, but it would have taken me two turns to get that improved instead of just one turn there. That I went to the flat tile first instead of crossing the river. But I'll get it soon enough. It's not like we're lacking here. I don't think that one extra production is going to throw us off. Don't eat that near me. That's disgusting. <laughs> you don't have to eat it right next to me. You know I hate pickles. <laughs> I'm laughing more because I know this is getting recorded. <laughs> Pickles where I want to eat my pickles. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways. I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, good thing I can't smell it because I also hate the smell of pickles. I'm just not a vinegar vinegary flavored guy. I don't like vinegar flavors. Okay. Um, should we go settler or builder? We're going to buy the builder. So why don't we get our settler going? I'm going to actually send this slinger out and about to see what's going on. Same with you. Salt and vinegar chips. Ew. Is copper a luxury? No. Copper is a bonus resource. Bonus resource requires mining. Yep. So that uh, that does not help us as a luxury. In fact, we don't have any luxuries here. But that won't affect our happiness. When, uh, our happiness will be just fine once we get TOA going. Because what does TOA do again? <laughs> Let's remind ourselves. Um... Each camp pasture and plantation improvement within four tiles of the city provides plus one amenity. Yeah, so we're going to be super happy. We won't have to worry about luxuries for a little bit. We'll get dyes from up here. Over here we've got sugar, so we're going to have to find a spot over here to settle to grab that luxury. Do we have anybody near us? Not that I can see. We are on a small map, but uh, if we stick to the north in the tundra, we shouldn't run into any neighbor issues. <laughs> Reroll. Yeah, nice try. Not going to happen. Ooh, another river too. I mean, we can settle outside the tundra. I was just going to try and focus on the tundra. 
Ooh, that's coast. Okay, so now we know where it ends. Good to know. So looks like we're gonna get a city over here somewhere. What can you see, Slinger? A good looking river. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna harvest this copper. I don't really care too much about it. Especially this one since it's in a plus three spot for a campus or a not coast. It's a it's a big lake. Oh it is a big lake! I didn't notice that. Oh, wow. That is a big lake. Oh, what if we're on a lakes map? Wait, should I cheat and see what kind of map it says? Does it not say? I don't think it does. Oh, wait, if I go to save... Will it say? No, it just says shuffle. It doesn't say what type of map it is. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Cross that river. That is a lake. Okay, well, we're definitely going to settle over here with fresh water in mind. I'll probably settle on the lake and then settle maybe up further on the river so I can get two cities over there. I just want to be able to reach this sugar, so maybe I'll settle on the south side of the lake, like right here. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. I might even do an aqueduct-type city up here. We'll see what happens. You can settle that copper and get to sugar. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I can settle that copper. Oops. That would kind of bridge the gap between these two cities, too. And it would give us a... Is this a Plains Hill? It is, so give us a 222 base. Now that's coast. That is coast right there. Okay. Desert. Ooh, Petra? <laughs> this is very interesting. What if we're on our own little continent? What if we're on our own little continent? people working on great profit points yet? Nope. I should get astrology just so we can unlock our district though, shouldn't I? Let's focus, let's hard tech astrology. That's fine. Boy, if we ran into a wonder though. A natural wonder that is. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, game. Two? Oh yeah, there's one here and one here. Found two goodie heads. Sweet. Yep, I think I will settle that copper myth rock. Thanks for pointing that out. I just didn't want to get too close to the capital, but I guess it'll just reach in different ways, and it'll get this area up here with the cool mountain placement. I'm going to have my warrior continue up here once he's healed up, so I'm going to send my slinger across the river into the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert. Well, that's not going to help me too much. <laughs> I've already got a faith economy going here. Uh, are we at a position to buy another builder? Not yet. We need 215. We're literally one gold off. From being able to buy a builder. Borders. We've got borders. Crap. Well, Mythrock, I'm not going to be settling there now. Green and white, is that Ottomans? I think that's Ottomans. Alright, you're healed up enough to continue exploring. And let's bring you this way to get that goody hut. China. Oh, it's China. That, that scout is going to be annoying because I want to send my... You know, I'm going to have to bring my warrior around to get my settler up there. Uh, let's buy our builder. And let's just grab some things down here. Maybe we'll do two camps and the horses so we can get the boost of horsemanship. Or horseback riding. What are we looking at here for... So, yeah, it's the same here for archery. I guess I should actually be rushing this, shouldn't I? Maybe I should be rushing archery. Yeah, let's do it. Because I don't see any other barb camps around here. Switch that off. And then we'll get uh, astrology next. I'm not too concerned about getting a ton of lavers out right away. So, I think as long as we focus on TOA, we should be fine. Oh, it's going to be a two turn. Okay, we'll go there, right there for a moment. I should still be able to settle over here. I'll have to find a middle spot over here somewhere. Interesting. If you settle... I, I didn't know this. If you settle next to um, ice, it doesn't count as fresh water. Or, uh, not fresh water. It doesn't count as coastal. I didn't know that. Hmm. And there's our neighbor. Yep, it was China. You're right, Mythrock. You're always right, Mythrock. 
Hello, China. So that's not your capital. He's going for Great Bath. Crap. Well, I'm saying crap, not because of Great Bath. I'm saying crap because I don't want to lose TOA to him, which could definitely happen. Ooh, yeah, look at those camps on hills. <laughs> um, 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 um. Let's push on culture now a little bit. I think I'm probably going to get a city over here then on the coast. I'm going to say, I'm going to just put it like right on the coast. Give us some room there from the capital. And that should be fine. Have some stone the harvest. Ooh, a great campus spot right there too. I'll take gold. Thank you. Let me go around this lake a little bit and see what's going on. You're lurking, Mithrock. All right. Thanks for hanging out. I'll just yell your name if I need you. Hey, Mithrock. Meta City State? Ooh, culture one. Not a first meet, though. Kumasi. I mean, what you do again? Trade routes. Okay, cool. I heard a barb camp. That's over here. Well, my uh, slinger is on the way. Not too far away. That's good. Interesting little lake there. Good move. <laughs> Stay away from that stupid scout. Uh, let's go grab the horses real quick, because it's a one-turn improvement. Very nice. Very nice. What tiles am I working? Oh, I just lost a population. That's right, because I sent out a settler. Sweet. Still nobody working on stuff yet, which is fine. We're only on turn 24. spot. Hopefully China does not get hostile. They'll get mad once I build TOA, though. Interesting little lake there. They're definitely going to get Great Bath. They almost always do when they're in the game. Yeah, we'll settle right there. That should be good. And another improvement. Awesome. So much gold. <laughs> This is crazy, guys. If we don't get TOA, I'm going to be so upset. So upset. We've got to push for it. Archery in 11 turns. We need to get this boosted if we can. Hopefully there's a unit like that's come over here and I can work on that. Yep, there goes Great Bath. You got it. Well done. Just leave me Temple of Artemis, please. Um, let's beef up our military a little bit. Let's plop this down. Sweet. I'm going to have you heal up real quick. And work on the monument. That's another 2 2 base horse in the tundra. That's awesome. Ooh, that's a good looking, uh, good looking die now. This is crazy. It's like I'm in the middle of a caribou herd. Let's check out what this area is all about. I just want a unit to pop up here. I've got nine turns. Oh, that's an active volcano. I wonder where that scout came from, though. Was it from the camp we cleared? It's gotta be. It's gotta be from the camp we cleared. <clears throat> Alright. I don't know where he's going, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. But we're going to beeline it to this camp. Let's actually bring the warrior down a little bit. Son, have you oh! Seen the of God? Well, that boosted our astrology. Of course, China started with a wonder next to them. Natural wonder. 
They didn't even... This is the one that gives the boost to wonder production next to it, right? 50% production when producing wonders and districts. Well, I guess they didn't have a choice with Great Bath. I was wondering why they wouldn't have built next to it, but Great Bath, I mean, you're limited by floodplains, so that makes sense. Promotion for you, huh? I like to go for hills. This seems like it might be New World Age-ish because there are lots of hills, but I could be wrong. Um, let's send this guy maybe this way to figure out this area a bit. I'm going to keep this warrior on the move. Just going to see where that scout goes. Okay, six turns. Let's get another builder going in four. Here I am. I don't know. We'll see if I can get this boosted here and, uh, and completed really quickly. Don't know if it's going to happen. You've done two already? Yeah. Oh, wow. So White said to do a Utah Sunset. Oh. Utah Sunsets I don't like as much as I like yours. Arizona, Arizona sunsets. sunsets? Oh, fun. Okay, let me switch over to the face cam real quick. Is this the last one of the night? Yeah. So this is the last watercolor of the night from Mrs. Foibles. This was suggested but by you can see the colors White. Well. Yeah, I think you can kind of see a little bit better there. I don't know. Maybe if you turned off the light over there, the dining light, might be better. The exposure's a little crazy. I can assure you this is beautiful. It's got some blues and then some pinks down below. Is that better? No. Maybe if I, you can kind of see it when I curve it like that. <laughs> yeah, she's great, right? This could definitely be another postcard. You can see the colors better when it's at an angle. Stupid camera. Now is the black uh, watercolor or is it pen? Oh, looks great. Yeah, you can, you can see the colors better when I put it in I an angle. I am an amateur painter. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say she was an amateur painter? Yes. <laughs> so these are both of them. Yep, here they are. Here's both. Here, I'll angle that one so you can... I guess if I angle both, you can kind of see them better. <laughs> Those are the paintings from tonight. Hope you guys enjoy them. I think they're great. Thanks. You're, you're a, a wonderful amateur painter, honey. Just wait till she's an expert, White. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Oh, white. <laughs> Red sister. Oh, jeez. Let's not bring that up again. <laughs> All right. What are we working on here? We've got something boosted. Oh, yeah. Craftsmanship. Derp. <laughs> Where'd that scout go? 